I love the new OneNote, the unified OneNote. It's so much more powerful than the desktop and it looks beautiful now. They've updated it with a, a brand new UI that matches the Windows 11 theme. Uh, however, there's one thing that I've been struggling with and, and that's needing to go back and forth between tabs and you probably don't need to do that anymore. We're gonna change this into Uh, actually, I'm just going to talk you through it. There's not going to be a dramatic effect thing. Okay, customize the ribbon. We're going to import, import all customization file. This you're going to download. I'm going to show you how to do that at the end of the video. Uh, in the beginning of the video, I'm going to show you how to do this without importing a file. And we're going to replace this and ta-da. And we're going to click right here. And we're going to click right here. Now we have a much improved, much more useful OneNote. This is my custom tab here. I'm going to show you how to do that, how to get that set up for what it is you want to do in just one tab instead of many. So make sure that you keep watching until the end of the video. So I want you to look right here and you'll notice something different. On mine, I have File, Home, Insert, Draw, Tablet Pro, History, Review, View, and Help. So there's one in there that is not like the other, and it's Draw. Just kidding. It's Tablet Pro. I named this. You can name it whatever you want. You can call it the Tina tab. So here, in order to do that, and on this tab, uh, what you see right here is the stuff that I use most of the time. I don't use Zoom In and Zoom Out. So we're going to remove that from the... I'm calling this the taskbar, it's not the taskbar. This is the ribbon, the simplified ribbon. Remove from ribbon. Okay, to get this look, I'll go through a very quick little tutorial here. Simplified ribbon, always show ribbon. And then up here at the top, I have things pinned to the quick axis toolbar. So that, if we right click right here, customize the ribbon. What we're actually going to do, instead of customizing the ribbon, which you can do very easily from inside the UI, you are going to customize the quick axis toolbar. And so what that means is we're going to select right here. You can go through this list. There's popular commands and here are all commands. And so if you know what it is you want to have always available, always available, you can pin it up here. Select it, voice, add, and OK. Now we have another option up here for voice. I'm not sure exactly how this is different from uh, up here, which is dictate, but it's uh, slightly different. We're going to right click and remove from quick access, which is how you do that. All right, so this right here, having my own tab with the different things that I use the most, as well as having the quick access toolbar and this right here, this little icon, this little icon will usually live somewhere. Uh, let's let's go to the regular view. Here's this. Uh, this ignore this is, is the same label here, but they're different things. Okay, so you normally have over here on the, the side a whole bunch of different pages. Uh, your notebooks, you can now do this. This is a new improved version uh, as of late. So update in the Microsoft Store. Uh, so here I click on this full page view you can create a full page view and a normal view toggle up here. And I have this set, like I said, to simplified ribbon versus classic ribbon. I think this looks much better, much more what I'm used to. Okay, so now most of the tools that I use are in the draw tab. However, not all of them. So you can go through here and purge these, remove from ribbon, and you can, otherwise you can choose right click and add to quick access toolbar both of these so that you can put all the stuff to use from the different tabs into a single non tab switched uh, UI here. Uh, I think that makes sense. We want to get rid of switching between history, between draw, between insert, between home. So let's go ahead and look at this briefly. So over here on the side is the tablet pro artist pad. If you guys have a tablet, like a surface device, 
Um, it's, I'm going to shock you with something. It's not a tablet. It's not a tablet if you don't use it like a tablet. If you bought a tablet and you're not using it while standing or walking or on the couch without a keyboard and a mouse, you didn't really buy a tablet. You bought a one-in-one, not a two-in-one. Not a detachable, because if you're always using it with the keyboard, you're not getting what you paid for. So this over here, this is the artist pad from Tablet Pro. And I have all of these programmed to click different places on the UI that allow me to do things like circle, delete, lasso select, select the eraser, select a different color stylus. Now we need to be, for this to work, in the same tab because I have this set up to do switching between different things. Red pen, orange pen, erase. We're going to put the cursor here, turn on dictation, turn off dictation, add a period, fully capitalize the entire word dictation, delete it, delete to the right, start a new line, start dictating again, and then we're going to make this, we're going to make this underlined. Okay, so super fast, really, really fast. So this whole UI, all of this right here, uh, I will go into a further video if this video does well. So please like, subscribe, and share for more information on how to set this up yourself. But I think the gist is here. Now over here on the left, let's look at this again. This over here to get this running, you need to do two things and only two things. Okay, you're gonna go to the Microsoft App Store. We're gonna click up here. We're going to type Tablet Pro. Then you're going to install two of these. So you're going to install this one right here, Tablet Pro Touch. Actually, let's turn on something here. Line presentation is fine. You're going to install Tablet Pro Touch 2023. This is brand new, brand, brand new. And Tablet Pro Pen Tool. Pen you're going to install and Touch you're going to install. Both of these have a free trial. Um, together, they are, well, actually they're in a suite on the website, but if you want to buy them here on the Microsoft App Store, you can do that. I'll show you how to purchase it which seems like probably not the thing that you want to do next, but I'm going to show you anyway. So we're going to open settings and you can see purchase and you can purchase right here. Okay. And then the um, pen tool you just purchase in the Microsoft store. Okay. So when that is on, you have these two little icons, this pen and this touch one, they will be up in here. So you just grab it and pull it down. And then to run everything, double click on the pen tool icon, find OneNote, and double click on it. Okay, for more instructions on how to set these up to click specific locations, you can watch the beginner tutorials right here. Click location tutorial will show you how to do that. Ah, I forgot the most important part of why we're here right now is how to set up this custom tab. We didn't even do that yet. Right click somewhere here on the taskbar. We're going to go to customize the ribbon. And so what we're going to do over here is we're going to make a new tab. Let's make one more new one, new tab. We're going to rename, let's say Tina, because of course, and new group. We're going to, uh, we'll give it a save icon, display name, Karen. All right. So then we're going to click OK. Now we have right over here, Tina. Cool. So then right here, customize the ribbon. Now we can take certain things if we want to have font size and format painter and insert table and lasso tool right here. You can uh, drag them over here, click OK. All right, so yay, we have a Tina tab and it's got these couple items here. Now, if you've watched this far, uh, you're probably interested. You probably use OneNote. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little sidestep option here. Okay, so let's go back to customize the ribbon. 
there is an import export option. Now I have made this, I have exported it, I've put it online so you can get this. There's no extra charge for this and I don't know how it will work. I don't know if it's going to put all of these up here and all of these down here and give you a tab called Tablet Pro, but maybe someone can find out and put it in the comment section. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose import here, import customization file, and one called OneNote customization. We're going to open it. Ah, yes. Ah. And let's click OK here. And then let's look right here and we'll see these same things that were here uh, when I saved it. Okay, so let me know if this works for you. All right, I'm sure you have questions because this is a very complicated tutorial. If you have those questions, put it in the comment section and I will try to answer those quickly. All right, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.